The following is video that you have not seen yet where I was doing everything that was necessary for me to build a bench in the woods. And then on my fourth or fifth go around of getting all the different uh, pieces of wood from different parts of this area together, that's when I came across what you're about.
So I'm sitting in the rubble of my shelter destroyed by Mother Nature's wind. I've only had about 10 or 15 minutes to kind of gather my thoughts and I was more worried about human interaction and humans destroying my shelter, not or an, wild animals destroying the shelter or using the shelter as as a home. I never even thought about Mother Nature destroying my shelter. Lesson learned. Make the shelter sturdy, strong, and more important, make that shelter windproof. All is not lost, though, as I look around, because it got me out of my element, is what it did. It got me out of my element, it got me away from away from not uh, exercising. This is one heck of a really good workout to build a shelter. It got me out of my environment because I don't usually do things like this and I see these bushcraft people and I was like, man, that looks like a lot of fun. And you don't realize until you start building something like this that how much hard work goes into it. A lot, a lot of hard work. So when I came through the woods about 15, 20 minutes ago, and I, the first thing I noticed was all the pine needles. The pine needles were just like all spread out. And at first I thought maybe an animal had, you know, you know went like this. And then I realized, oh, there's no top, there's no uh, sides. And then I started to see all around all of the sticks and stakes and stuff that I used to build the shelter. So it wasn't just the pine cones. Definitely going to build another shelter. I'm not the type of person to give up, and neither should you. It does make it feel a little somber, just a little sad because of the hours and the time and the dedication that it took to build the shelter. But, like I said, I'm going to build another one. And what is that going to do? That's going to entail me to start looking for locations. I've had some ideas for a while. I just haven't, like, went to those locations. I'm waiting for the weather to get a little bit nicer. You know, hopefully we get 50 degree temperatures sometime in the next couple weeks. The highest is 40, or close to 40 this week so just waiting for the weather to get nicer and I'm looking forward <clears throat> as I'm sitting where my shelter used to be I'm looking forward to 
as I'm sitting in where my shelter used to be, the bed, I'm looking forward to my next adventure and my next shelter. So after taking a really good solid look, I don't think what destroyed my permanent temp shelter was humans. I think it was wind, like a really, really strong wind. Because the more I look at this grass, this grass is laid down like strong wind had come uh, by. That would explain why some of these uh, sticks are, you know, 25, 30 feet away from the shelter. Yeah. Because pine cones is nothing for wind to take out. It's not like I had a tarp or some kind of a heavy weight so that wind wouldn't blow it away. Yeah, I want to show you the ground. See how it's all flat? It's not standing up. The last time I was here two days ago, it was all standing up. All this grass was standing up. And it's not just... It's not just there. It's over here too. All this grass, from those two right there, all the way over. All of that used to be standing up. And I don't see any footprints other than mine. It's all flat. It's all laying down. All of it. All this wheat used to be standing up. That's one of the reasons I chose this location is because of all of the high grass, it was easy to camouflage the uh, shelter. So yeah, I don't think it was human really after all. <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better. If you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel. The channel's doing great. Thanks to wonderful people like you. So yeah, I think it was the wind that took out my shelter. That definitely makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, it was definitely strong wind because look at this. This isn't even anywhere near my shelter and all the grass is down. And we did have some rain the last few days. We don't really get tornadoes here. But we do get some horrible, horrible winds. And we did have wind last night. This all used to be all tall grass. And it's as far as, I mean, as far as my eyes can see, I see a whole bunch of this tall grass. It's just laying down now, as far as I can see. So yeah, a strong wind came through here and just took it right out. That tells me that the next shelter has to be sturdier and stronger. And not made out of pine cone needles. Lesson learned. But hey, it lasted as long as it uh, did. And so, you know, you could have uh, stayed in it at least overnight when you had built it. All right. I feel a lot happier knowing that it was wind that did this. All right, so I'm going to have to temporarily cancel that one hour ASMR video. I had made a short 42 second video saying that I was going to make an ASMR uh, video and it was going to be one hour long. What I was going to do is I was going to turn these big huge 
pieces of wood that I got from other parts of this park. Those back there. I was going to turn into a big old bench and it's going to be an hour long. Yeah, you could definitely tell that it was wind because you got greenery on this side, greenery on that side. If it was a human, they'd put all, all the stuff together. And see, there's pieces... Here's another piece, way over here. And this is a good... a good 15 feet or so from the shelter, so yeah, it was definitely wind. Yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. Alright, well... Yeah, it's definitely wind because I don't see any kind of footprints. There would have been footprints or something in here. So I'm sitting in the rubble of my shelter destroyed by Mother Nature's wind. I've only had about 10 or 15 minutes to kind of gather my thoughts and I was more worried about human interaction and humans destroying my shelter, not or an, wild animals destroying the shelter or using the shelter as as a home. I never even thought about Mother Nature destroying my shelter. Lesson learned. Make the shelter sturdy, strong, and more important, make that shelter windproof. All is not lost, though, as I look around. Because it got me out of my element, is what it did. It got me out of my element. It got me away from away from not uh, exercising. This is one heck of a really good workout to build a shelter. It got me out of my environment because I don't usually do things like this and I see these bushcraft people and I was like, man, that looks like a lot of fun. And you don't realize until you start building something like this that how much hard work goes into it. A lot, a lot of hard work. So when I came through the woods about 15, 20 minutes ago, and I, the first thing I noticed was all the pine needles. The pine needles were just like all spread out. And at first I thought maybe an animal had, you know, you know went like this. And then I realized, oh, there's no top, there's no uh, sides. And then I started to see all around all of the sticks and stakes and stuff that I used to build the shelter. So it wasn't just the pine cones. Definitely going to build another shelter. I'm not the type of person to give up, and neither should you. 
does make it feel a little somber, just a little sad because of the hours and the time and the dedication that it took to build the shelter. But like I said, I'm going to build another one. And what is that going to do? That's going to entail me to start looking for locations. I've had some ideas for a while. I just haven't like went to those locations. I'm waiting for the weather to get a little bit nicer. You know, hopefully we get 50 degree temperatures sometime in the next couple of weeks. The highest is 40, or close to 40 this week. So just waiting for the weather to get nicer. And I'm looking forward as I'm sitting in where my shelter used to be, the bed, I'm looking forward to my next adventure and my next shelter.